pretty color if you ask me doesn't get stripped down Today I'm gonna be doing your makeup. I can tell that your face is already clean and fresh and prepared. So I'm not gonna do anything about that. We're just gonna get straight to business. I'm gonna start with the primer. Ice cream. with my fingers you don't mind right my hands are clean so don't worry about that and they're warm right Basically serve the same purpose of erasing your pores. Can't really say if one is more effective than the other. I think that they're pretty similar if not identical.
kind of has a waxy texture to it. I'm gonna turn it into a wax figure so you don't sweat. Or into a candle. And this is the other option. Kind of looks like cloudy sky. This has the same texture. Just basically different color. Which one would you prefer? Mm, this one. Yeah, good choice, good choice. Personally, I usually prefer pink or purple over blue, but I think this presentation just looks really visually pleasing. Have little sponge to go with it. It says I'm pineapple. Mm, absolutely not grammatically correct, but it's cute. soft you know like it's got some spring to it I'm happy to be doing your makeup. I hope that you find it as relaxing as I am. Okay, and this is done. Just gonna close it and put it away. Next, we have some foundation slash BB cream options. you that it's much cuter when this isn't happening. Mm. I like that it's kind of transparent, like frosted plastic. Then it's pink underneath with a cute little dog. A dog is usually not the kind of animal that I would go for when it comes to cute stuff. You should go for more, you could say classic, typical animals like cat and a rabbit. I guess a dog is also a traditional cute animal, but I don't know. I do like dogs, especially the 
sad stray ones I feel so bad for them and I think they're adorable I also like those dogs that have like long snouts I think they're really cute and kind of like fluffy more smaller dogs kind of like this one they're also pretty endearing I'll tell you a secret, I'm kind of afraid of most dogs because a dog chased me when I was a kid actually it happened more than once I would say that two occasions were the most memorable but yeah, that settled fear of dogs into my heart even though I still find them cute but get kind of nervous around them Look at the tube for a moment. What do you think? Do you like this? This is uh, pastel purple. Pretty color, if you ask me. I think it's pretty satisfying to tap on this. hollow about this sound hollow and dull but softened you know I don't know how to explain it better the light is really reflecting off of everything everything would be super shadowy without this so this is necessary evil you want to go with a cushion one mm. the dog really won you over or you prefer cushion foundation overall gotcha Spreading really well. It's not sinking into your pores. It's getting distributed evenly over your skin. And covering the little imperfections you have. I think you're done. Looks 
really good. Looks really natural, like you don't even have any makeup on. Your skin just looks perfect. Feels very smooth. and get stripped Do the 
same to your face, but even more gently. I think that's enough. Let's not go overboard. Yeah, it's a perfect amount of powder. Covered everything quite nicely. Just uh, looks uh, complete, finished. Which means it's time to add some color to the canvas that we prepared. Okay, we'll have some options for the blush. This uh, jelly blush it can also be used as a lip color and even uh, eyeshadow if I'm not mistaken. I've only ever used it uh, for my lips and my cheeks though. Never on my eyelids. Don't really think that red eyeshadow would suit me necessarily, but you never know, maybe it would. Alternatively, um, I have this. Um, more pinkish blush. It's powdered blush. It's more demure, I guess. More subtle. And this is the jelly one. What do you think? You wanna go with the jelly one? Good choice. We're not gonna apply a lot and we're gonna blend it in nicely. Again, you're not gonna look like a clown, I promise. Unless that's the look you're going for. I'm not gonna judge you. option but then there is also this this little highlighter palette it's designed to resemble a chocolate bar I don't know what chocolate bar is this color, but let's just go with it. It's, it's peach chocolate. Actually, I hate chocolate that has like fruit, fruity taste to it. Like fruity filling or something. I really don't like it. 
I'm actually not a fan of chocolate in general. I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but there is some good one. The fruity one though? No, absolutely not. It's my tank top. <laughs> this was not planned. This was not intentional. This is just a happy accident. Okay, let's uh, just gently swap. Well, okay. That would 
be it for the eyeshadow we're not gonna do eyeliner because I think that the more um, natural look would be better for you just a lighter look yeah so we're just gonna go with this uh, mascara it's a very lightweight one and doesn't clump it's not gonna give you like crazy eyelashes crazy again for a more subtle look Do want to spice it up a bit? Guess we can add some anime eyelashes. What do you think? No? Okay. Yeah, I agree. I think that it would be a bit too much with the look that you're going for right now. Yes. Lastly, we have uh, your lips to take care of. I know that earlier we applied a little bit of color but it's definitely not enough we need to finish it and here are the options first of all we have this
looks kind of dark i'm not sure you can see no you can't but yeah it looks kind of dark like reddish brown dark but in reality it's much lighter than that and if you apply a little bit and you spread it out it looks quite natural i like it about it we also have this uh, color changing lipstick is really pretty the light is ruining everything yet again but it is pretty transparent pink it's a nice shade of pink too here you pale something that adapts to your unique pH level or something like that and everyone gets different results or at least there are a few different results but I don't think that's true I think that they uh, just react to temperature and they're all equally pink lastly we have this it's another glossy juicy lipstick slash colored lip balm I guess it looks pretty bright and dark but again it is something that looks really natural if you just use a bit and blend it and it has really nice glossy shine to it as well what do you think hmm? what do you think you want to go with this but just a little bit so it doesn't look like too in your face should do it again sometime yeah. and I hope that you find this uh, enjoyable as well and 
and relaxing. Bye for now. Thank you.